Afternoon, sir. yourself to the members of the jury? Uh, my name is Matt Lawrence. I'm a resident of Manchester. And Matt, how old are you? I'm 28. And tell us, what is your education? I graduated uh, Manchester High School West and I uh, took a few years of courses at the uh, New Hampshire Institute of Art. Uh, Matt, were you involved in the what's been called the Occupy New Hampshire movement in uh, the fall of 2011? Uh, yes, I was. How did you even hear about it? Uh, I heard about it via social uh, media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing. Facebook specifically. And uh, when is the first time that you uh, uh, physically um, uh, went to an Occupy event? Uh, I believe the date was the, uh, the, the 5th of October, and um, it was uh, down in Arms Park. And what was that? Uh, it was our first general assembly. Objection. This is Sam. Goes right to my order. Um, okay. Uh, did you join the occupation uh, that started in Veterans Park? I did. And um, did you participate all four days of the occupation? Yes. Um, Was there, um, did the Occupy movement set up some kind of a uh, process for governing itself? Uh, yes, it was referred to as the, the same. it was referred to as the General Assembly. We will do, sir, if there's an objection, let me just wait and not answer. Okay. Don't, don't apologize. Um, during that, uh, can you tell, tell the jury, uh, was there a particular way in which you participated as a member of the Occupy movement. Objection, Your Honor. What up,
I think that you're in another courtroom. I know you were calendared to be here, but I think Judge Garfunkel is handling your matter. Okay, great. Actually, I went in there and I didn't know one answered, so all right, we'll go over there. Thank well, you very much. That's what I. That's not what I last heard. All right, great. Thank you. I apologize for you. No, that's all right. Thank you. So I have just two questions for you. Why did you personally get involved with the Occupy movement, and why did you choose? not to be arrested the night of the 19th. I'm going to allow it. Um, I personally got involved with the Occupy movement because um, I was well aware of the wealth inequality issue uh, as well, of, uh, as, well as a, a large um, issue with uh, you know, unemployment rampant throughout the culture um, at the time and uh, even today. Uh, and um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the second question? Uh, is it true that you you didn't stand to you didn't get arrested for trespass? Right. Um, uh, we were informed at the time that we would be able to question the legality of the ordinance by simply taking a summons, um, and uh, I elected not to take an arrest um, because I felt like um, it might uh, it might reflect poorly on me, and uh, I did not. Uh, want to take the risk, personally. Did you see any violence at all in the four days that you were involved in this work? No, no, no. no. Um, maybe some outside people came in who had some issues, but as being part of the safety committee, I personally was a part of making sure that others, we went and diffused those situations, um, and we never had to call the police or anything like that. So, no, I wouldn't say it was anything super violent, maybe a, a verbal argument or two, but that would be about it. What's the safety committee? The same. The, the safety no. Sorry. Yes, you can't answer. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Mark. Just want to ask you one question. Does Occupy New Hampshire move? Does the Occupy New Hampshire movement condone violating state and local laws? Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. It's not an official endorsement. It was always up to the individual what they wanted to do. No further questions. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, sir.